Hi and welcome to JavaScript Academy's tutorial 1.1. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering um, the types of data and basically just giving you a quick overview of their uses and so forth. Um, numbers. Um, numbers is one of the data types and numbers are used in JavaScript to calculate um, uh, for example the, the, the total items in a shopping cart on an online store it, it'll, it can calculate the total cost of that and it can carry out various um, mathematical tasks such as this um, JavaScript numbers can contain um, decimal values and they also can exist as negative numbers um, JavaScript, the beauty of JavaScript is um, it can calculate um, it can carry out mathematical tasks in real time since it's a client-side um, language it can calculate something it can carry out a task without having to refresh the browser uh, much like um, PHP um, and those other sort of languages the server-side languages they need their page to be refreshed before they can actually carry out their task um, I'm going to show you a quick example of um, the, a mathematical function. Um, I've just got my HTML page here and I've got document.write function here. Don't worry about this too much. I'm going to be outlining um, various um, functions of JavaScript in the next and upcoming tutorials later on. But for now, I'll show you um, uh, 2 plus 2 uh, times five and this carries out the order of precedence so it'll do the um, multiplication before it does the addition I'll show you that now um, let's bring that page up hope you can see that there um, so yeah 2 plus 2 times 5 refresh that 2 plus 2 times 5 <clears throat> that should be uh, ah yes of course two times five two times five plus two sorry um, we can change that though we can um, outline the addition bef to do um, the um, addition first and there we go twenty um, that's a simple experiment with um, numbers. Next, I'll be moving on to strings. Strings are basically um, a series of letters, and that can obviously include street addresses, names, and so forth. And to tell the interpreter inside this function here um, that it is a string, not a variable, um, this might not make sense at the moment. Um, it'll it'll be clarified later on. I'll just I'm just trying to give you an example here so um, st a string is specified by having it enclosed in quotation marks so hello how are you is in fact a string now and there we are that's a string um, we can use double quotation marks and it still works fine um, just be wary of when you use single um, quotation marks that you don't use them anywhere else along the string otherwise the interpreter will interpret that as the total string from start to finish so what I'm saying is wherever you specify the um, the, the quotation mark at the start here wherever the interpreter sees the next quotation mark is where it will include the total string so from here to here and that is the total string changing that to um, here to be it's a nice day this statement here is incorrect since the next quotation mark is uh, here between the it and the s yes. so it's that is wrong the interpreter will think that is a total string and because we've got this excess here it'll actually echo out an error and I'll demonstrate that to you now 
we open up our error console, um, you can see here that it's um, a syntax error. So to fix this, it's as simple as adding a backward slash in front of the quotation mark. And this basically tells the interpreter to ignore this quotation mark and to include it within the string. Um, and that basically caps it up for strings. Last but not least, Boolean values. A Boolean value is basically a true or false statement and it helps to, in certain circumstances, to um, determine whether a function relation in relation to another function is either a true or false statement. Um, that probably doesn't make sense at the moment if you haven't had much experience with code, um, but just keep in mind that um, a Boolean is also a, th a, th a third value of, um, a, a, uh, sorry, <laughs> um, a data type within JavaScript. Okay, so that wraps up this tutorial 1.1 on basic data types of JavaScript. Thank you for watching.